Hello guys, Tyler here, and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be doing some P a PDN tutorials. So, let's get started. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make this a simple effect. It's a very nice but simple effect, which can um, improve some of your designs by a lot, just like YouTube backgrounds. So let's get started. First, start off with a white or black, uh, well, yeah, try, I'd recommend white because I think it comes out pretty well. But if you want to try black, it's pretty okay. So on, once you've got your background, get your text tool. Pick font, so I got Letromatic. Well, I'll go for Minecraft because that's cool. And I go for 84. Black right then. Right, I'm gonna go lower. Hmm, bit bigger. Seventy-two. Perfect size. Stretch right across my canvas. So, uh, when you click off that, uh, see so that the text is done. So that's one layer. I had another layer, which will be above it, which will be a a um transparent layer. That will be the text layer. Layer two is the um. Thing like if you want to, you can um, rename it. So, like, if I want to rename it as and there we are. So, I go to the colors tab, pick colors I want. So, like, if I wanted green. I got an idea for a cool design. You can um, just do letters like that, but I'm going to do something else. Okay, I'm going to cover these letters. Uh, I recommend you guys go over each letter in different colours, like this, there, like that. But um, go over them so they're like that, so we're not touching anymore. Like that, if you're going to do different colours, but uh, I'm going to do a, in fact, I'm probably going to work out like good. So do that. Carefully, don't go too far. So, one, two, three. So, I'm going to do three letters and go like blue. Three letters. For the last two, I'm going to make that green. I'm rushing this guys, just so I can get through the video. So once you got all this done, like all that, um, once you got all of these colours by here done, now you can actually get to get the colours onto the text. So what you do, you go into effects, blurs, ocean blur, and do it to about 23, do do 23, that's a reasonable. So then you would go on to the, um, well, stay on this colors tab, click the other properties, click here, uh, this, like that. That's how it, that's how it's probably going to turn out like, list of check. Color burn, dodge, glow, glow's pretty nice. Lo don't go for overlay. <laughs> like then, on screen, an XO. XO is just like a reverse, like um, negative is negative and difference. Yeah, they are pretty the same. So once you've got the one you like, play around with like uh, op opacities, like. You can change your darkness if you, when you're doing this. So like I like that. So I've got all this done. It's <laughs> cool. <laughs> if you want to change the colours when you're doing it, that's cool. That's cool. If you don't like the colours that you got, just do that. I'm gonna use that as a logo. 
Uh, in a second, I'm gonna play around with it, see how good I can make it. And I'm gonna make it into a logo, probably. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, guys, thank you guys for watching. Do not forget to rate, comment, and. Don't look at Skype. Do not forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. I am Tyler. 5 minutes and 15 seconds. Goodbye.